Hello, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP. So today's video is uh, about uh, how we can start with uh, HTML and JavaScript using Visual Studio Code. Now why I created this video because there are some people who doesn't have any programming language and uh, so they were asking me how we can start with programming and stuff like that. So I thought maybe I will create a, uh, a YouTube series of videos maybe a playlist or something where I'll add uh, uh, you know examples or the concepts from HTML, uh, CSS and JavaScript, jQuery like this kind of things. Probably this four I'll try to add in that playlist. So as a beginner if even if you don't have any knowledge so you can get some knowledge from that and you can start with that. Again uh, I'm not an uh, expert on these things but I will make sure you understand uh, things before starting, uh, you know, SharePoint development. So SharePoint client side development or uh, any kind of development uh, before you want that. So you can go through this. You will get an idea on on this HTML, JavaScript, and CSS how it is work. So now uh, let us start with HTML. So uh, this video is about, as I said, how we can create the HTML file and stuff, but the first thing that we will understand is what is HTML. So HTML stands for uh, Hypertext Markup Language and it is not a programming language. So uh, we can use HTML to create web pages or web applications where uh, we'll use various tags, tags like uh, sections, headers, paragraphs, uh, your uh, links or div, image tag. So a lot of tags are available which we can use in a document, in a HTML document. And uh, as of now, I think nearly 150 HTML tags are available, which you can use to uh, design your web pages. And uh, so basically, it is a file uh, having .html or .htm extensions. Anything you can use. Uh, and uh, if you look at this, so this one, if you'll see uh, one example over here, um, this is the HTML tag, and the first one doc type html is basically tells this document is an html5 document and uh, then there is an html tag so which is the parent tag and uh, within that you have head uh, in the heading section where you can have your metadata over there like i will put uh, a title so you can see here i put our first html document so that it will come in the title and then then this is the end tag and then there is body tag where your main content will be there. So for example, I'll just put a heading tag. So H1 is for heading and hello HTML, something like that. And then the, your body end tag and then your body, uh, um, uh, sorry, your HTML end tag. So that's how it is your HTML document is. Now, when you talk about HTML, as I said, we are using or creating our web pages, but only HTML is not sufficient for creating a a professional dynamic or a responsive site for that you require css and javascript so just to give you an overview we use css for styling things so you can style like color layout background like this and then uh, we use javascript which is the programming language for the web and here we can see how we can get uh, values from controls how we can set values how we can so basically you can use javascript to change your html and also CSS that means dynamically you can change your CSS classes also. So this is where your HTML, CSS and, CSS and JavaScript comes together. Now what I'll do is we can take this simple HTML code that I showed you before. So for example, this is the code and this, uh, as I said, we can uh, HTML document is just HTML or HTML, uh, you know, syntax or the extension. So I will just copy this and uh, I will go to any folder. For example, you can see here I have a Visual Studio Code demo, but let's just I'll create a file here. So I will just create a text file uh, and I'll put here. So in that test file, uh, you can save this file as .html format. So for example, I'll say file save as and on this, for example, I will say demo .html html or htm and make sure you select the type as all files so that whatever extension you are taking it will take that one so you can see here uh, demo.html and click on save so now if i'll close this 
you can see here one demo dot uh, html file is there and if i'll open this one for example i'll say right click and uh, open uh, you will see that a uh, the file will open here so if i will go here i will open this uh, you can see here the heading it is coming here our first html document and this one is the h1 tag and within that we put hello html so this is a simple thing that you add the tags and uh, in a text file and then uh, you know finally you save that as an dot html file extension and it will create a uh, html file you can run like this but ideally uh, there is a uh, code available which is known as the visual studio code and that we can use uh, to create uh, our html files or javascript file or css files so that that is a you know free editor that we can use so you can simply uh, just search for visual studio code and actually you will uh, the microsoft is providing this code editor so it's a free code editor which you can use you can use for windows you can use for mac os you can use for linux as well so once you done this is just download and install and then you can actually create uh, files uh, using various languages it support a lot of programming languages so you can use that and apart from that also you can see this is visual studio code you can see here you can create php visual basic all this objective c uh, all these type script all these languages are there lot of things are supported you can see here javascript xml everything is supported on this so once you download and install this one in your local system uh, next time you will come here you will search for uh, a visual studio code you can get it here you can see here the first one uh, you can get it here so you can open that but but rather opening this way let me what i'll do is uh, we will go to our folder here uh, and here what i'll do is i have a folder uh, vs code demo and within that i'll create another folder here so for example let's say i will say hello uh, something like this and uh, i will go here uh, i'll open this folder from here i will open the command prompt you can just type cmd and then it will open the command prompt and you can see here you are on the same path so here uh, you can just write code space dot and what will happen is uh, it will open your visual studio code and uh, most importantly what it will do here is you can see here it open that folder actually uh, this is hello is our folder and uh, this is what is uh, our folder here so any file anything we will create it will be inside this folder so even if you are uh, uh, creating a or you are just opening visual studio you can see here you can open your folder and then you can start from that i have couple of visual studio code uh, videos also i'll put in the video description you can have a look at this now in this first of all uh, we will add two extensions on this or the um, uh, you can see here this kind of plugins over here so the first one i'll add is the uh, live server so what exactly it is this will do is uh, you can browse something in the live server so uh, let me just install it so you can search for live server uh, you can see here this one 7.2 million uh, already installations are there just click on this install button so once you click on install button you can see here uh, this will open every time you will try to browse something so it will open uh, your live server with uh, on this ip 127.0 dot uh, that one so let me tell you exactly the ip it will open so there is a good documentation on that you can also have a look at this so this one 127.0.0.1 and then 35.00 in the port so uh, this will open in that ip and uh, anything will modify over here it will reflect uh, without refreshing the web page in the right side so this is one uh, plug, uh, extension that we require and the next extension is a code formatter which will actually we can use to format our code our javascript css and html code so this one is js uh, hyphen css html formatter this one you can see um, this we can use for formatting the documents whether it is javascript css or html now click on this install and you can see here it is installed uh, if you are if it is not reflected 
uh, then you can actually do one thing is you can restart the visual studio code apart from that also you can actually install one more which is uh, saying this prettier code formatter uh, you can also use you can use uh, this one is uh, this prettier we can use for code formatting um, the material icon theme you can use this one which will actually display uh, various icons based on your file extension for example html javascript js uh, you know extension based on that it will show you the a different uh, theme for that i will show you that so now what we will do is uh, here we will first create one html file so you can see here there is a plus new file icon click on this and i will give hello dot html just put the extension you can see here the moment i put there is the html icon it is showing and now i can I, you can either copy paste the code that i showed you else or else what you can do is you can just put this one and uh, then you can put tab so it will create all your html stuff here so it will add the uh, minimum html stuff and within that you can add your uh, things for example i will say uh, we'll come um, html document title and uh, body tag here i will add something like this for example i will say it's one and uh, here i will say hello world something like that and now i can save it so once you save it you can see here the moment i saved this this one got formatted um, you can right click over here and you can see open with live server so click on that what will happen is it will open the live server you can see here uh, this is the port that I was talking about so it will open so it is a live server now and you can see here hello world is it is coming and anything actually you will modify here uh, you can see the changes without uh, uh, without uh, any refresh so if you look at this for example I will say hello world example the moment I will save this uh, you can see here you will be able to see the results in the right side so that's how it will be uh, and the next thing what we will do is i will add a javascript file so similarly i'll go to that folder and there is a new file or uh, icon click on that and i will say hello.js so now i'm saying this is my javascript file you can see here uh, hello.js is there so we can write our javascript code here now to write that first of all i will add one button here so i'll just put a beer track so that it will be a line break and here we can add buttons over here for example i will say button and uh, here i can put a id on this so for example i will say button click and uh, then what i'll do is i will close this tag and here i will say click here now once you save this if you will open this you can see here there is a button here already now um, next thing what we will do is i will uh, we will actually write a function over here so that on click of that function or on click of this button we will call the javascript function so i will write a function here so function syntax you can see function and then i'll give a name for example i will say say hello and i will close this bracket and i will say alert and in the alert i can put a message here so i will say hello welcome to html now i'll save this now how we can call this one over here so there is a on click method which you can use so on click you can see here this one and we can write the method name here so the main method name is this one so i'll just copy it and i will put like this so this is how we can uh, call a javascript method here so i'll go to this one i will say click here so now you can see here i'm trying to click but nothing is happening uh, so now if i you can check the error uh, by going to this one you can see here click on this and then more tools and developer tools so if you look at here it is saying that say hello is not defined uh, but if you will open visual studio code here 
you can see uh, we have the function here and we are calling over here but the problem is we have to actually refer it so how we can refer it is uh, we need to tell our HTML file that you have to search for the function in this file so that is what we have to add it here so you can go to the hello HTML and here we can add src or script and then we will give a path here in the src uh, attribute so here you can just say uh, hello.js and uh, this is the end tag of this script file so once you have this now your html document will understand there is a javascript file associated with this so for that you can go here if you will just refresh it now you don't need to even refresh it click here and you can see it is showing that uh, hello html now this is how and if you look if you look at this uh, location here we have the hello folder and within that our uh, hello uh, dot html and hello dot javascript is there so this is how we can start with html and javascript uh, we will see a lot of things on this one but this is just a starting video so that you will understand how from where you can start with it and if you want similar kind of videos uh, subscribe to our youtube channel you will get not only this kind of javascript or html css videos if you are a sharepoint developer you will get a lot of videos on sharepoint office 365 power platform all these things so you can have a look and uh, so subscribe to the channel and thank you and have a nice day